Thank you, everybody. Hey, y'all, mate. Grooming book 
Gallery. A place to chat about what's on your mind. Simple. We went up there and we had the opening and it was absolutely amazing. A group of volunteers went up there. We connect with one of the oldest buildings and businesses in the community that everyone at some stage visits. Every pub. Somebody has been in there lately. We do the miles to bring smiles. Our tagline is Mates Help with Mates. There's some of our photos there. Our mental health ambassador, Tim, he's actually taking some time out. The top left here, that was in Pack Saddle with our comedian ambassador and our Tones from Tones Dropping Stories. If you don't follow him and you want to laugh, please follow him on social media. Um, these guys here, these guys here, they're just amazing people. This little pub here in Ensay, that was saved by the fires in, um, in um, my country, by the community. All these awesome stories. And we document them all on Let's Get Rural and Be Hot Australia. Now, when we learn about a community that needs to have a little bit of love, and we wrap our arms around the postcode, um, we basically go and find out what's going on. Rochester, we all knew what happened to Rochester. Don't have to tell you. October 2022. Jamie volunteered his time to go and help the guys at Rochester at the Criterion Hotel and he's now he's got a job out of it. We are now going to be announcing that the Criterion is going to be our very first peer-to-peer -peer support hotel in our pub network, in our rural communities. That's where it went up. 1200. There was a tsunami right through. It broke family run business. It was absolutely devastating. We get a phone call from Turbans for Australia. We've got some chairs. Where do you want them? Sent them straight to Rochester. Right down, right down the Hume Highway. Amar Singh, amazing man. Our recent weekend with mates in Rochester, that was all made possible because people went to a thousand paddocks.org and donated a paddock. When we get a thousand paddocks, which is five thousand dollars, we go, okay, who needs us? Where are we going? Where are we going? Who wants to come with us? So to ensure that we do continue to do the miles to bring the smiles to Australia, we need to raise funds, and this is where everyone gets, comes into it. So how do you go, mate? That's our tagline, better our stickers. I've got a dream that I want everyone to have one on their car. I just want to have positive affirmation on our car as we're driving around. If you donate $10 at thousandpaddocks.org, I'll give you a sticker. This here was at the Raybrook Hotel. They were about to close a few years ago. They said, I need help. We put on the uh, ACDC tribute show there and uh, they raised enough money to keep going for three months. Then after that, we raised the profile and the community kept their pub. Without a pub, there's no community. That picture up there, we were out doing a welfare check out in uh, Outback New South Wales, up near Cameron's Corner. And when we got there, it wasn't very nice. So we have two opportunities available to everybody. A thousand paddocks campaign, which I keep rambling on about. Five dollars, thousand paddocks got all. Everyone that I know has got five dollars, but everyone that I know aren't creating how they can actually bring everyone together in their circle and go, I want to thank the person who fed me today. And so things like, Pay it forward Fridays, we were doing pre-COVID, that wonderful pre-COVID. But should you wish to sponsor in larger amounts, we are actually a registered charity, a registered organisation. They have the same status as the Red Cross as a humanitarian society. We don't get government funding and we will not get government funding because at the end of the day, if mates help and mates can't help each other, we're in a sad, sad, sad place. So, if you want to become a champion, brand your events up, brand everything, be creative, come and talk to me because business development is my bag, but this is my passion. Okay, the second one, which I'm really, really excited about, is I've produced this show. I've produced many, many shows over my years. I've managed a lot of musicians, comedians, you know, top, top to the bottom of everyone. And I produced this show with the help of a psychologist friend of mine, and I said I wanted to actually deliver a... a, a, a a show that was going to deliver mental health benefits without seeing mental health or mental wellness. Mates help the mates coming together. So this is how simple it is. And to grow your brand, this I think is the ideal way. So the formula is very simple. We have 60 people, 10 tables of six. In theory, if 10 of you in the room bought five people each at $40 a head, plus your dinner and drinks, then everyone's going to start getting to know each other. Everyone's got their business cards on the side. Everyone is encouraged. 
and they will because this dude here, and we have another comedian coming on board, they're going to make it. Like, you just can't sit in the corner and not do it. Like, like the team building is just amazing. Um, invite people outside of BNI, invite people in your clients, your, t your, your team members, the people that you work with every day. So, yeah, that's our Rock and Comedy Tribute Show. What we do with the money that we raise here is very, very simple. We then go to a small community that cannot afford anything but needs something. Because in these small communities, it is where our go. They don't see new people. We go to a, a, a town and, as we say, we arrive as strangers and we leave as friends. And mm. Jamie at the Rochester Hotel, well, Rochester, the Criterion Hotel in Rochester, um, we had 250 odd plus people coming through and experiencing the hospitality of Rochester all because we ran one of these nights last year. So, thank you for considering the Australian Horizons Foundation as your charity of choice. And if you would like to become an ambassador, get involved in any way, please do. It's a lot of fun. It's very quirky. Um, it's outside the box. And I can guarantee you that other businesses over the years that have been involved, they not only get to feel good about themselves, but we expose them. Now that we've got social media at the, at the height of what we do, um, our Let's Get Rural and Lift Up Australia pages, um, they really, really can benefit grow your brand while we grow and help others. Thank you.